Hi everyone, and welcome to the Lightning Effects Template Tutorial. Learn how to create these striking cartoon lightning effects and add them to your image or video footage in Adobe After Effects. I'm Jonathan Lam from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this video, we'll take you through step by step on how to use these graphical, hand drawn 2D style electric effects. In this pack, we can choose from 12 different electric styles where we can easily edit things like the color and the glow. So before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With just one subscription, you'll have unlimited access to assets such as the one we'll be showcasing in this video. Millions of creative and digital assets with simple commercial licensing, and you can cancel at any time. Subscribe now with the link in the description below. So to start, let's head over to the Envato Elements website. And then over here, we want to make sure we select video templates from the Dropbox on the side here to narrow down the search. And then in the search bar, we're going to type in cartoon electric elements to find the templates that we want to use. And then click on the search button to begin searching for the template. Now we've also included a link in the description below for the After Effects template. And then from here, we're going to use the first pack, which would look like the one that I'm hovering over right now. Make sure to choose the correct one that works specifically with After Effects, as the other one here works for another program like Premiere Pro. So let's click on the download button here or click into the template to see a larger version of the preview video and then click on the download button to download all the necessary files. Now we'll also be using this simple Thunderbolt logo template, which you can find in the graphics template section of Envato Elements. This will act as a logo example that we'll be applying the electric effect to. So go ahead and download this template as well if you want to follow along. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and open up the project in Adobe After Effects to get started. All right, now that we're inside Adobe After Effects, let's take a quick look at the layout just to gain an overview of the project. At the bottom left here, you'll find that we have the navigation comp open, which contains all 12 lightning effects. All 12 will be showcased in the preview panel here in the middle, where we can use the timeline slider at the bottom here, just to slide backwards and forwards, just to get a quick preview of what the effects might look like. Alternatively, we can also click on the play preview button here, to watch an animated preview of each of these lightning effects and how they would play out compared to each other. So now that we're familiar with the 12 different lighting effects, we'll want to choose which particular effect we want to use. So for this example, let's say that we like the look of electric number seven, which is this round one here in the preview window and we feel that it will work perfectly with the logo image that we're going to use. We can choose it either by clicking on the preview window, like so, which will then highlight it in the layers panel here, or just simply click on the layers panel if you know which one you want to use. Then all you need to do to edit it is to double click on the layer, like so, to open up the composition. Now to edit the electric effects, we need to click on the comp layer here just to select it, and then move up to the effect controls panel here at the top left, which is usually where it's located. And then if you can't find it, you can simply go to window and then select the effect controls panel which is over here, like so. Excellent. So let's go ahead and close down these do not touch effects here, just to tidy things up. 
And now we can focus on the three options here, which are available for us to edit. So at the very top, we've got the option for color, which will affect the color of our lighting. So if we go ahead and select the color box here, we can go ahead and select different colors for our lightning, like so. So for now, let's just go ahead and put it back to white just for this example. You can also play about with the opacity settings here as well. So if we go ahead and click and drag to edit the value of the opacity, you can see how that affects our lightning effect like so. Cool. Next, we have the glow option. So we can use this checkbox here to adjust the glow to check it on or off. Let's leave it on for this example again. And then finally, the third option here is the glowed radius, where we can use and adjust the slider to adjust the size of our glow here, like so. So a larger value will increase the size of our glow, whereas a smaller value will decrease it. Excellent. So we're just going to leave it at 75. And then once you have finished editing the look of your lightning effect, it's time to import our logo so that we can apply this electric animation onto it. So let's do that by first selecting our project panel again, and then clicking and dragging our image, our logo image into the project panel like so. Now, all we have to do is right click on the image and then we want to select the new comp from selection option. And this will create a new composition for you to put our electric effects in. So to place our newly edited electric effects into this image, we need to open up the edit comps folder in the project panel over here. And then we want to navigate to the electric seven composition, which is the one that we edited. And from here, we want to just click and drag the electric effects comp into our new logo comp here, making sure that it's on top of the image like so. Excellent. Now you'll notice that the timeline for our lightning effects looks empty. And that's because the animation for this effects only lasts for a few frames, which is really, really quick. So let's go ahead and use the zoom frame uh, slider here to zoom into our timeline like so. And you can begin to see that it's starting to show here. So let's zoom all the way in. And then from here, we can then slide backwards and forwards to see how our animation looks on top of our logo, like so. Now we can also use this opportunity to go ahead and right click on the composition and use the compositions here to adjust the duration of our animation. So let's go ahead and make this about five seconds long, like so. And this will decrease the timeline significantly. So when we zoom out again, you can see that our layer is successfully shown in the timeline, making it easier for us to edit. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and click on the play preview button here to see what the animation looks like. And if we need to make any adjustments to the positioning of our electric effects, we can go ahead and open it up like so and use the transform options here to adjust the positioning or adjust the scale like that. Excellent. And you can also combine different electric effects into the scene composition like this. So that's it for this video. Feel free to experiment with the different electric effects from this template and to use them in your own images or video footage. If you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos. If you're looking to learn even more, check out some of the other tutorials in the channel. Have fun, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.